The rain was relentless, pounding against the windows of St. Mary's boarding school for girls. I shivered as I stared out into the blackness, feeling an unease settle in the pit of my stomach. It was my first night at the school, and I already regretted my decision to enroll. The rumors had been whispered in hushed tones, tales of a malevolent presence that roamed the halls after dark, seeking out unsuspecting students. As the lights flickered overhead, I tried to shake off the fear that gripped me. But there was something about this place, something that felt inherently wrong. I lay in my narrow bed, the sheets cold against my skin, and tried to drown out the sound of rain with thoughts of home. But then I heard it, a faint distant whisper. At first I thought it was just my imagination playing tricks on me, but the voice grew louder, more distinct. I strained my ears, heart hammering in my chest. The voice was coming from the hallway, a mournful, desperate plea that sent chills down my spine. Gathering my courage, I slipped out of bed and tiptoed to the door. As I opened it, a gust of wind swept through the corridor, extinguishing the flickering lights. In the dimness, I saw a figure at the far end of the hallway, a girl in a tattered white gown. My pulse raced as I watched her, frozen in fear. She turned slowly to face me, her eyes hollow sockets of darkness. Help me, she moaned, her voice echoing in the silence. I wanted to run, to flee back to the safety of my room, but I was compelled to move closer. Step by step, the distance between us narrowed, and I could see the pallor of her skin, the way her hair hung in wet strands. Who are you? I managed to whisper, my throat dry. The girl's lips curled into a sinister smile, revealing rows of sharp, gleaming teeth. I am forgotten, she hissed, her voice carrying a weight of sorrow and rage. Trapped in the shadows, cursed to roam. A chill ran down my spine as her words sank in. She was a spirit, a tortured soul bound to the school, a victim of some unspeakable tragedy. Before I could react, she lunged towards me, her fingers like ice as they closed around my wrist. I yanked away, stumbling back and nearly falling. The lights above us flickered and buzzed, casting erratic shadows on the walls. The girl's form seemed to shift and contort, her face twisting into an expression of pure malevolence. Join me, she whispered, her voice a sinister melody that wormed its way into my mind. I turned and fled, racing down the hallway, my heart pounding in my ears. The whispers grew louder, a cacophony of voices that seemed to be coming from all around me. I burst into my room, slamming the door shut and pressing my back against it. The night stretched on in agonizing slowness, each passing minute filled with the sounds of whispers and distant footsteps. I huddled under the covers, praying for the morning light to banish the darkness. When dawn finally broke, I ventured a glance out into the hallway, half expecting to see the girl again. But she was gone, leaving only a lingering sense of dread in her wake. As the rain finally ceased, and the sun cast its feeble rays through the windows. I knew one thing for certain. St. Mary's boarding school held secrets far darker than I could have ever imagined, and I was just beginning to uncover its chilling mysteries.